So you can see the blaster is playing to a rehearsed pattern. I see coach being sano at that team be so. Okay. Right from the back. In the first half, the back yeah, four. You're the only the one saying three. that, but I'll give you that platform anyway. You know, you know, yeah. you know I'm not saying the blast stars is, you know, at yeah, its it's best a, shape. A, a friendly match. But compared I mean, to what we yeah. saw at the AFCON, it looks like this one is quite okay. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I it's good. That, that is started, one thing that I've realized from the team. And we when you look at the changes notes. and the kind of competition the coach has started creating within the team, you know, forcing Amanqua, one of them, key, becoming a key player yesterday on the, on the, on the field of play. Mm -hmm. And... Players like, you know, uh, Atizigi uh, coming back to the post. You know, you can see starting from the back, Estatifu uh, Nusso and Jerome Opoku, another left footed central defender to join Mohamed Salusu in the team. One thing about why Ali Dusedu from the right back position to a central defense. We I saw mean, something. If I give you time, I'm sure you use the whole program. A player like Edmonado, uh, the, you know, the review. To the but central as I defense. said, so it is your opinion. It's an improvement yeah. from what yeah. we saw yeah. at the you, That is what I can view. say. Yeah. yeah, all points of view. No problem. I respect that. I mean, other people have different But for the under well. 20, black satellite and of course, uh, the black princess, you know, we need to give, you know, massive applause to Mr. Bazigi, uh, Yusuf Bazigi. He has done a good job for women's football. By this time, I see him making sure, say, in ka, someone in charge of women football in this country, Nanka Shabazi Kinsa. But they have um, winning gold medal on two occasions. Ama Williams Broby. Are you talking of the coach? coaching aspects? But what about the, the lady? She's doing a good job. She, and also, she's got a template that she's using. But, you know, winning two gold medals. For, for, for us in African games, I think Bazigi have done a great job. Right from under but, 17, but, but under see, 20. You know, you know why I'm asking you these questions? Yeah, 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 we'll be better on levels and our standards. Yeah. African games is great and we love it. I mean, everybody has seen it, but there were levels. I think the last time that we did war in the so, so I don't want to push you. Football, it's it was great. Bazigi was the head coach of the gold them. African Black level. Queens. But if I said you win the World Cup, and I think Ketu Creek who said it, I think, is it Otuado? Which, I mean, that. One day we'll win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. That's the that. It got to a time, yeah, cut team from Africa, or we qualify for World Cup and Olympic Games. Uh, it's Ghana, Nigeria. Oh, but, uh, but in recent times, the Bayana, Bayana, no, and of no, course, no, no, uh, no, no. the I Zambian know, national team has taken over. But I think we gradually need to go there. Let me correct you. You see, the templates of those countries, their investments and their football policy, you know, I know you're different. Yeah. And almost I said about 10 years ago. So maybe in the Ghana is now two, three, four years into that process. So maybe it will take time to close the gap. Mm -hmm. Not that um, gone are the days we used to beat them. It's because they were not really investing. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is why the... I was talking about, you know, Mubibia and Motaika, competitive advantage. Osha Krumha, the various disciplines, you know. The ability to be Bibiaba Krumha is football. So the government should help the football association. I'm resting. Right to I'm invest resting at 41 medals. Yeah, that, let me say competitive advantage. Uh -huh. In your baby, we can get something from there. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm resting is one of them. 41 medals. But upo, upo, football statistics. is the heart of Ghana. It's the emotional brilliance. So the government should help the football association uh -huh. invest in the game and make sure our football will take us to the next level. That is what we are asking for. But the government has been doing that. So the major <laughs> beneficiary to every Ghanaian is the various facilities. of the past and currents have been invested in so football. So we can do more. Uh -huh, now okay, when you go to the likes of Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, some of these countries, they are going forward in terms of their football. Mm -hmm. And 40 years ago, we were winning Afghans. Now we are struggling to do that. So government... <laughs> struggling to what? To, to, to do that, to win Afghan on and staff. Struggling to win a match. <laughs> and I do. Let's not go there. Like, no, anyway, the last two editions, the, uh, coach, man qualified. Coach, uh, Our benchmark for the semi final. Yeah, good afternoon. So, yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you've enjoyed the games, and I, I like Nana Edu's <laughs> submissions. I mean, he's, I, I think he's on, he's on point. But if we want to go deep, then I bet Danny, different like, conversation. Uh, 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 you know. But coach understands. See, too. Ah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, well, who said there was a massive improvement in our game? For what you saw in that 20 Coach, reach me. Odi too. I will not be surprised. I will be surprised if I can say, Odi too said we are making an improvement in our game. Coach, what? Yeah, seriously. Um, there are positives and negatives, and uh, that's the game between the Nigerians. I mean, they're talking about the blasters. Um, there wasn't any creativity in our team. Talk of Salis and then you talk of Baba Idris. They are not creative players in the team's method. And of course, um, looking looking at what happened um, to the Blasters and the Nigerians. Yeah, in as much that we missed some key players, 
I think the one that we, the coach had as disposal was the ones that he used. And in terms of um, 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 tactics, Utado was trying to, 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 to let the players understand certain things. But at a point, we allowed the Nigerians to play because we were not doing the pressing. I'm talking about the players up front. They were not doing the pressing. Between Salis and then Baba Idrisu, and the back four, there was a very huge gap where the Nigerians were picking every second ball. Alex Yobi gets the ball. He split his passes in between about four or five Ghanaian teams. So for me, it's, it's, it's a huge tax for Uto Ado. Yes, in as much that I was not looking at the scoreline. There were a lot of positives in terms of set pieces. This time, Jordan was not going direct. And, and you could clearly see that um, anytime he sends the ball, there are two players behind the arc for a rebound. That is positive. And when it's the corner kick, how he sent in and how the players also moves. But in terms of communication and the way we allow our midfield to be hollow, it is something that he needs to work on. And I'm sure I will use the Ugandan game to assess that. Of course, the same players that is going to have uh, them at this disposal. Probably the second half changes that he made also brought some, some, some kind of a positive in, in the team. But it also happened during the penalty that we had. And the Sniyama went for the ball. Semenya also wanted the ball. So uh, it's all kind of a... It, uh, I don't know what was really happening there, but there should be one player... Should Communicating be, uh, no, there one player in the before team, the game. If, if he's in the squad, that is the number one taker of a penalty. And then the second the, penalty uh, taker. Jordan Ayo is our first penalty But taker. he was in the squad. And they were about to change him. So, you know, at that time, no, 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 the two nah. players never just touched. Nah. Like, I wouldn't even nah, 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 nah. So he came right nah, from nah. that side to take nah, the nah. ball. The point is that if Jordan is not in the team, we still have who's a the second taker, person right. to take the penalty? Is it Ernest Nyama? If Andrew is not in the team, is it Ernest Nyama? It is, is, is Antonio. I agree with that one. I so that's that. what I'm saying. So for me, I think that this thing needs to be put in the right perspective because at the end of the day, this year, they are professionals. You understand? If Jordan is in the team and there's a penalty, no one goes close to the ball. Or probably he may tell them, Charlie Kono Kobo. Then, then we move on. For the, for, for the U20, I think that transition, I loved what... Um, um, the coach did. Uh, this one, yeah. First, first, coach. first two matches of the friendly matches of the of the satellite wasn't good. The FE, the some team. some some executive members watched the, their friendly matches and they realized they had no team in yet. So quickly, some players were, were were sent out and others were 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 in. Our players are matured in terms of the game. <laughs> Aaron is uh, this is his third time he's playing the U20. You okay. Part of the black you, you understand? So a bit of a, a experience as an advantage. He has played yeah. for Dream CFC over three years. When you talk of um, Mahmoud Mifford, he's from Heart of Lions. So the GPO contingent is... A lot of them right. are in it. A free Park was under 17 in the um, Wafo tournament. He, he failed MRI. So that should tell you that these boys have got experience in terms of the game. And they were hungry. But I, I, the reason why I mentioned of fair, the coach was that, that it was a short period, but he was able to to put move, them together, to, right? to, put, to, to put them together. But I think that consistency helped him. Right. He didn't change his his team selection anyhow, and he reads the game also very well. And I think that the Ugandans have a very good future if if they are going to go the way they went with us. Yeah, for underdogs, yeah, they play understand. well. Yeah. It's not by I didn't see them as underdogs because there are previous games that I watched. I knew the game was going to be tough. I said it yesterday on, 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 on radio that, look, we are not going to find it easy. It was a communication and a misunderstanding between the goalkeeper and their captain, the centre-back, that the free had that ball. And then he was able to score at that time of the game. So for me, I think that if we will be able to maintain the squad, consistency, and they are monitoring by next season, most of these guys will not be in the country playing. So if we're able to do that, I'm sure the sky will be the limit for, for, awesome. for, for our team. All right. So we took a bit of time to talk about the uh, African Games and obviously the uh, princesses and the black satellites. Congratulations to them and indeed to all uh, the other participants. Today is a wrap up. Uh, the closing ceremony will be later on. But our focus is back. Summer Tex versus Hearts of Oak, the biggest game of the round, no doubt about it, because Hard to Vogue are on the ascendancy, they are unbeaten in six, and they know that a win, not only would that give them three points, but psychologically, it will send a message and um, shivers and fear and panic down that table. Midyama host dreams, and of course, they overcame 
Adriana Stars and uh, Dreams and Midiama back from Africa. Dreams are still in there, remember, but Midiama have no more um, duties as far as African football is concerned, and they want to catch up quickly. They are the defending champions. Bichem United track to break Coombe, where, of course, it's going to be a tough game. Um, Mr. Jantua's boys who hope to get three points there. Tano Bafakwa, welcome, Karela. I think that's a six-pointer because two teams are battling relegation. Great Olympics host Adriana. Can they worsen the woes of Adriana? Legon Cities versus Enswatraman. And as you can see there, the big game tomorrow evening, Kotokop versus Nations. And then on Monday, uh, round 23 ends with Royal Tamale United playing Accra Lions and Heart of Lions entertaining Gold stars, big, big games. We'll, we'll, we'll have time to go through. Um, obviously, just one game today, but we'll have time to, you know, have a preview of that. But, Coach, big, big, big game for Hearts of Hope, for Samatex. Yes, you know, um, since Samatex joined the Premiership, Hearts of Hope has not beaten them before. And if it's your audience, let me say that His Royal Highness, the Guafeda, is watching the game. He's watching our dis our discussions and also ready to watch his team play. And let me say good afternoon to his highness. He's a great man, and I'll say God bless him. You have to take me to go and see him. He's very busy. Anytime I want to see him, he's very busy. So you have to make sure that you carry me along the I'll next time. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to our president to do the the Obama <laughs> of our time. Of our time. <laughs> Let me say good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's, it's 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 going to be a difficult game for both teams, in as much that Azufo has not beaten Samatex before, since they joined the Premiership. But you are looking at the technical bench of Azufo today, you talk of Abu Bakar Watara, and in his last five games, yeah, the last, this is the last, um, this is the head-to-head -head of Azufo, and then of course, um, Samatex. As I said, Azufo has not won a game before, when, since they played them. But this is a game that is going to determine has to focus whether they'll be able to get straight into the top four or Samatas extend the lead on top of the league. Samatas has just lost a game at home out of nine games. I think Dream, uh, Nations went to, to def defeat them. Has of has been doing well since Coach Abu uh, Watara took over. And the way he has been managing his team, there's been a lot of consistency. And I mean, Hamza Isa is back into the squad today. And it tells you that Samatas is not going to find things easy. Baba Musa, the top scorer for Samatez, was injured his back, but he's not in the, in the starting lineup. So, obviously, it's going to be Imano Kayeke and, of course, Dauda Seydou in Milford. But one player that Hazovog needs to look at, Hazovog needs to have an eye, is Ivan Soseu, so the chap with the GC number 70 on the left side of, 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 of the attack. Their last two games, he has been their best player on, on, on that day. So, it's definitely going to be a game that... It's going to be an end-to-end -end action, but it's going to be a tough one for both teams. But I want to see how the technic both technical handlers are going to, to, to manage the game and probably do their changes. But looking at House of Folk, the 4 for 2 diamond with CC and, of course, you talk of um, Hamza, Hamza Isa. And looking at Salif Ibrahim, Linda Mtange is one player like who has improved under this coach, Watara. He has really, really improved. And when you watch us four games, you you mention Salif Ibrahim, but yeah, one player that no one is mentioning his name is Linda Ntangi. He's the one who has been doing so much for us for in their last five games that they've won. Though Salifu has won MVP in some of the games that they've played. But yeah, this is a game that if Hasu Fogu really, really wants to pick the three points from Summer Boy today, Linda has to come to party and Hamza Isa. But looking at Imano Kayeke, when it comes to set pieces, He's good at it. One of the finest central midfielder, let me tell you, a pivot in our league. That is Dauda Sidi, a former ice gold midfielder. Yeah. If he sits in front of the back four and he, he gets his day, then you see how Otanga, Greg Otanga will also work. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough game, but I, I want to see a fireworks and also expect goals in this game. Yeah, when you look at a game like this in, in Century, has to be called to be um, keeping one point from this particular game, they can go the second round without a defeat. Because the most difficult away fixture in the Ghana Premier League as it stands now is Samatens Football Club. So it has to be called on even one point out of this game. They can go the second round without losing a game because it's a difficult venue. It's a difficult venue. And well, I think also you need to you know, add that psychologically, this is the best time for Hearts to face uh, Samatex. They, they seem to be having that 
never say die attitude which is pushing them. We saw nine, 10 against 11 in their last game, and they looked as if they were rather playing with the man extra. I've said it. It's always important to have the number 12 in, our, in the game, the fans. Mm -hmm. And anytime Hansel Folk play a game, you listen to the coach, he said, Look, I played for the fans. They are the reason why we are here. He wants them to come and support the team. Though, in as much that the majority of the fans that will be at the stadium today will be fans of Samatez. But the House of Folk fans that will be there will definitely be loud to support their team, to make the players understand that wherever they go, they are with them. Yeah, the number 12 in football plays key role. Watch Satellites yesterday. Watch Princess a day before. And for me, I think that this is a game that if House of Folk fans are to go there and make sure that they support their team, they chant till the end of the game, it's going to motivate the players. 10 against 11 in Kumase, in as much that it was raining, watch the endurance and the spirited performance the House of Oak players put up. Especially in the second half. But yeah, you cannot take any theory from Samatez. They are really, really good when they are, they are at home. Very, very, very good. And they put a lot of pressure. If House of Oak can, can contain them in the first 15 minutes, yeah, things might change. Yeah, no, no, good news though. But if, if uh, Samatex are playing at their best, House of Oak playing at their best, we're going to have a feast of a football game. No doubt about it. Good officiating, yeah. <laughs> That is very important. I think it will be one of the best games if the, the two teams decide to play the normal game that I've seen them play in this particular season. It will be one of the best games I hear it in the second round of the Ghana Premier League. You know, Samatez at home, Obiamba or Mepiki even a draw. They've lost only one game and it's against a team that are also fighting to win the Premier League, Nations FC. And that game was win off on Sunday, the Mobile on Monday. And Nations FC won that game against Samate. So, Obian himself going to Incentive is a very difficult grounds for you to go there and pick at least a point in their game. So, it's a big fight for, for, for House of Folk in today's game against Samate. And Samate are motivated uh, with, with, with the likes of say, Seydou and of course, all these players in the team, Imano Kayeke, and all these players they've been doing was... I mean, that's yes, a former, former player, House of Folk player in the team doing great things for them in this particular season. So, they have a strong squad and they, they, they can match House of Folk. When you look at House of Folk team, Hamza Issa, Kasim Sise has, has brought some vibe up front for them this particular season. And we, we, when this coach came in, Abu Bakar Watara, you can see a different lender in Tange in the team. And Glido Otanga is playing with confidence. So it looks like almost some of my foot when I am strong to face this particular summer test midfield that will be for say it's one of the best midfield you can get in the Ghana Premier League. So yeah, I agree with you that it's going to be one of the best games that we've seen today. I'm hoping for 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 a good game, good officiating. Yeah. Not in Shobian Koto, not in State game, no. But it's hard to be called right. to be one of the best games that you can see in, in the Ghana Premier League. For say, it's good for them. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they, they never lose no, when what, it rains. What he meant by yeah, the super, pitch, the surface, that's right? The yeah, point, obviously, yeah. if it rains. <laughs> Cut playing of course, conditions definitely. become that difficult. Yeah, of course. That's and what and hopefully the for. issue of officiating, we shouldn't come back at the end of the game to talk about the referee. Yeah. We don't want to do that. We want to have a really good game. It shouldn't be decided by the referee I've told you unnecessarily. That Ghanaian referees are very good unless they decide not to do the right thing. Mm. Yes, they are very good. They know that they will the rules of the game and they can do very well. Unless the panel that she actually does the city and I say what well, bomb. Let me put it down that because also we do not mind. I'm telling you, the Ghanaian referees are very, very good. But we are hoping that we will not have to have a shift in this game. I mean, looking at teams in Premier League about some of the decisions that the referees have been making. And, I mean, that's the other part for our league. And in as much as we are talking about officiating, I'm sure that the fourth refuse will also help them. Because they have their gadgets that they can communicate. Sometimes the referee may make a mistake, but the fourth referee with your gadgets, quickly you can just communicate with him, even if he, if he takes a decision and he wants to extend that decision, he could easily do that. You understand? Then we get our football flowing, we get our football moving. Today, the princess, the, the, the satellites have made people have their eyes on our league now. You get, yeah, so they've won good. So now everybody is glued to the set. Those are at the stadium waiting to see how the folk and some others play good football. You, you saw how people were calling and asking, blast match here, here, now. And I was amazed. Yeah. People wanted to see football. People of wanted course. to see the new blast. You, you see, so for me, I think that our officiating officials should do more. They should try as much as possible to be fair. And when they are fair, you get the best out of our teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. Okay, so just to remind you, top of the hour, we have the big game 
uh, in Samaboy. It's hard to vote traveling there. It, we do hear that they've traveled with quite a few fans, or the fans rather, mm -hmm. have mobilized and organized themselves to be there to give. Their team, and in fact, Hearts of Oak actually they do have fans across Ghana, just uh, like Kotoko. I understand the diaspora. So, so when you travel, Kotoko away, Hearts away, they, you, you normally see a lot of when the team fans. starts to win matches. Yeah, you don't even call them; they'll go. Yeah, you, you, you get the point. That is why when Hearts of Oak in their last five games they've not lost a the game, their fans are really, really happy with the team. No, I was not surprised when I heard that Elijah Kambi was carried. I, when they were giving him fans. I, I, I like he's the hero now. And, and, and for me, I think that this is this is football. It makes football sweet. You understand? When there's a time for criticism, it should be constructive. And when there's a time for people to support and enjoy the game. But I hope that they get a very good game today. Yeah, and if you look at the stats or the, you know, the, the records, even before this, Hearts of Oak always score in their last few games. You realize that even when they draw, they will definitely get a go in that. And the problem has been perhaps um, converting those chances against Bofokwa. Hearts yeah. could have been away yeah. in the first half. They had chances in the second half, didn't take it. Bofokwa came back, you know, so it's about the conversion. And I'm sure the coach realizes this. They will create chances. And against Samatex, if they take their chances, yeah. they have a very and good after, chance. Apart from Bofokwa, the rest of the games, they were able to score more than one. But for game the ending in one one in, in Sugar Cup, the rest of the game has to miss more than one goal in the game. Three against out to you, two against in Swantra, in Swantra, man, away game. And a two two draw against Dream FC. That game was played in Kumasi. And of course, two one win against House of Lions. Two games, two goals in Kumasi. So it tells you, apart from the Buffoot game, of course, over Sugar Cup, the rest of the games, House will score more than one. So I will not be surprised they can get a goal in this entry. No doubt about it. Big, big game, big, big venue. And hopefully we'll hear from the coaches in a bit before kickoff as well. But it is going to be a fantastic atmosphere. It's one of those atmospheres that actually encourages football and the fans, you know, connecting with their players to, to, to bring out their very best. Yeah, the people of Summer Boy, I mean, you, you give it to them. They, they love football. They watch football. And no other team like has a folk going to uh, in, in, in century uh, of course the, the fans will be there i mean those that are not do not even support us or support summer will love to go there because the phobia bed is already there and of course summer test leading the league i mean teams like kotoko teams like adriana teams like olympics and of course has of folk are all beneath summer test of course they will love to extend the lead and and between them and nations FC is just two points and nations is playing tomorrow so the advantage for them or disadvantage, they need to do something today. Can they beat House of Oak or can House of Oak for the first time beat Samates in the Ghana Premier League? Yeah, it's something that we need to look at. Yeah, I mean, Nations, Kotoko, I'm tempted to talk about that, but that's the game for tomorrow evening. So hopefully at the end of this match, we'll spend a couple of minutes on that. It's a huge game as well, the permutations. Adriana Stars, yes, they've said they are the most experienced as far as the top four is concerned. But what they have to realise is that once upon a time, they came in, and they blew the league away. They won it. And they nations, will come to on Monday. Nations want to do the same thing <laughs> but I on their thing. first what, attempt. Whatever happens today, tomorrow, Monday, nations and summer tests will still be either first nations, second summer test, or summer test maintain the top and nations still be, be at, the, at the second position. So in, in respect of whatever happens, the two of them, one is going to be on top, one is going to be on, at, at, at the second position. So it dawns on Haas, Kotoko, Bichim, Brikum, Chelsea, to do well in their games that they are playing this weekend, probably to close gap, the gap. Because if it doesn't go that way, there's probably going to be a two, two, two team race that is Nations FC and then Samatex. I think people started taking um, Samatex seriously when they went to Doma to win. Yeah. But after that, they lost a couple of games. No, they lost two straight games. Yes. That is the game against um, Nations and then against Beijing. Yeah, I'm saying they lost a couple of games yes. after going yes. to Doma. Yes. So yes. it's the, that handling that pressure and expectation, the heart of vocal test them. Of course, I'm dreams, saying that, yeah. dreams. Dreams tested them last week. Yeah, yeah. You see, against Dreams FC, they were two goals, two goals up, and James Owen had to score an own goal and all that. Yeah, they, they have got quality. They have got very good bench. Nuruddin Ahmed. You talk of Henry Wellington. He has seen it all with Hazel Fo Kotoko, King Faisa, and all that. So for me, I'm, I'm seeing this game as a test for Coach Abu Bakara Watara. This is the toughest game that since he took Hazel Fo, he's going to play. And for me, if he's able to go through. This game with the three points, yeah, then 
those teams that are find, find themselves on the top of the league and second whatever needs to be very careful. And if they should lose this game, Samates probably may cause a stay in the Ghana Premier League. And if our folks pick the maximum win in his century, they will be one of the teams to watch to win the Ghana Premier League because games like this, next chance to revive you season in EBU. Games like this, next kick start how the season will go for you in the second round. And I think I agree with Kud that it's a major test for Abubakar Watara. And most of these players now are playing with confidence. Coach now more opportunity. We're creating enough competition in the team. Now, Yawan yeah, Wakabe, if he is playing, he knows there is Michael Ampedu in, from the bench who can make the difference anytime he's called upon to come and play for House of Folk. Today, Dennis Costa knows even the last game, Ampedu could even play as a left sided uh, defender for the team. So, we're creating enough competition within the team and it's helping the team. Salif Ibrahim, I started picking and getting within the team and that is helping the House of Folk team. So, it's a big test case for Abakai Wata and some of these players within the team. And it's a difficult game for Samatas in, in, in his century. If they pick this maximum win, I think Samatas should be the team people need to tip to win the Ghana Premier League. And likewise, how to vote. Likewise, how to vote. Mathematically, a win. a win for them means that, as you're saying, if they go, they, they don't even have to go unbeaten because other teams may lose, but it gives them a good chance to go for that title hunt. Yeah, of course, team that was, was finding it difficult to win games. I mean, there were a lot of talks about, and right after the AFCON, as folk have started doing winning matches and they've not lost within the last five games. Yeah, going to this game is a crucial game and they are aware of it. And I'm sure that is the reason why the coach has brought back Thomas Winimi to replace Afrani Opan, who played very well against a heart of Lions in Kumasi. Levent Ozata is getting his first chance under Watara. And of course, it is an opportunity for him to prove to the coach that, look, if Michael Lampedu is on the bench and then Amon Kabefi is playing. I can also play for Dennis Corsa to be on the bench, even if he comes out of his suspension. So it is something that the coach, for me, apart from Leventos Atta, the rest of the squad that he has parried today are players that have played in their last two games and they know themselves very well. And that, Watara. And looking at the House of Folk bench, yeah, it is, it is something that you, you'll be amazed to see the likes of... Um, 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 that is Gideon Asante is back into the squad. They Dude. have the like, yes, they have the likes of Michael Ampedu, Isa Kuka, Enoch Esubontin, and of course, Martin Kakari. Solid bench. Martin yeah. Kakari, anytime he comes on from the bench, he makes the difference for House of Folk. That is a creative player that you can you can mention uh, in one of the uh, House of Folk setup. And for me, I think that they've got the squad. And looking at the, the team, Samatez, looking at their bench, you know. Imanol Osubuachi, a former striker for Kairila. Yeah, one of the finest strikers that you can also find in the team. Kofi Badia, number one goalkeeper, find himself on the bench. Mm. And it does to tell you that Richard Beidou, a former has for goalkeeper, yeah. is now in post. You remember him when he was loaned to Kairila? He was fantastic. He came back to Asofo. And when Asofo went to Algeria, he was, uh, ever since then, he has not been able to, to find his feet. But right? he's going to start today for Samatet. So, yeah, it's going to be a game of individual brilliance a game of tactics and a game of experience. That is what we are going to see this afternoon. And because of Dennis Corsair's red card in their last game, that is why Levento Sata is starting. Levento Sata last season, arguably, he was the best left back in the Ghana Premier League. And he finds himself on the bench for House of Folk. And to also no opportunity to, 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 to do something within the club, this particular game. And I think it's a big opportunity for uh, Levento Sata to start a game against Samatez. And Amadou Nudin, one of the coaches House of Folk were looking up to, but he told them maybe if you will join the club, it will be after the season. So he also has something to prove against, you know, House of Folk in a game like this. And I think it's going to be a big game in Samna Boy. Big game, no doubt about it. We're getting closer to talk to the two coaches. They'll tell us their piece and hopefully that would guide us or give us an idea as to what to uh, expect. Uh, we'll go for a quick break. When we come back, hopefully um, the coaches will be ready at pitch side to hear from them. We'll be right back.
Dabi. Ufi. Me free wasajo kwa. Eh kwa wa. Me pacho ha senti ha senti na wa. Four hours. Me pacho ha. Match no one say. Eh match we dey say has a fan form. Has a fan form. Ah yeah. Dentra. I want say so far yeah he. The last four matches ever uh, has performance and I was through. Uh, new coach here, the admitting as you see, all year, Jumano. Indeed, a Jumano would mean a new so. And the OC training boys, you know, boys, and also a put too much pressure. And as a effort, a more a winning a uh, uh, scoring seven, a cost rope. And see, Banner, you're betting the name said, they are has a win a final for men. But still. Money league leaders ne ko bono and the new league leaders there i know we so far we lead there but your better than say we lead there and just say my men can be venture or say saudi can wa him venture say we dey be ah inti eh import no ton chance say we lead inti e be we 90 minutes na score line it say eh 20 yeah your boss am at 20 Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Let's get close to a few of this. Yeah, let's get more views from these fans. I always love to hear the fans before a match because it gives you that I would like to hear what this guy has to say. Let's listen to him. One point. One point. I be do hamu pe one point. I always say you be lose ni di. I ni 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 one point ya. Yeah. Eh, so I na mi huno. Na mi a mi jira di. So ni ha se da makuma shono. Ha se lose kura oma me di. I mean pes me di. Ja chare kura mi se ma chare me busu afu se mi wua onfa we insi him. Sa. Eh. Hey. And what do ha se ba? Ha se lose a mi ni di. Inti after ninety minutes no score line ni di onfa hu. Oh pe point. We ni a mi pe. No me ni a kura mi a one point. E kwa e ye. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Boss, you're uh, here. Baby, you're the Baby, you're the Summer text, why are you ready? Yeah, you're ready, pa. Match, no one is saying? Match, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Against Hato Folk. Mo, you're ready. One goal. One goal, pe. One goal, pe. But I'm ready. You're ready. I'm ready. Oh. So be away home home fan, any home supporter here. In case we both be two nil and not three nil. That be a two one. Two one. Two one. Two one against at your folk. Any day, hundred percent. Now this season, we can say some attacks. We more than bono a costro. Pa, I was ro. Uh, there's no doubt we'll be hearing more from these fans and Prince Anan after the game as well. They're very lively, and the Hearts folk are very confident, and you have you know reason to believe so. But guess what? If Hearts don't get the points and if Samatex don't get it and it's a draw, watch out for the likes of Nations FC because there's this suspicion or should I say um, belief, right, that Nations are probably quietly ready to ambush if Hearts and the big boys are not able to do their homework. So Nations Kotoko tomorrow at the Babayara Sports Stadium is a huge game. But let's go to Samra Boy, and that's the dressing room of the home team, Samra Tex. And uh, yeah, as coach and Anaya do rightly said, they've got a, a team that is made up of a lot of options on the bench. And of course, they're starting 11. We know who is going to start for them. And Sawanu, Sawanu, yep. the former has a full he's, centre back. He's got experience yeah, as, as, as well. Kenya, no yeah. doubt, from Kotokot to um, you know, Samra Tex, he's moved up a notch, a gear. Couldn't quite get into a consistent start for Asante Kotoko. But I like the dressing room. Dressing room also looking cute, as it were. Yeah, you see, sometimes as a player, the moment you enter into the dressing room and you see your jersey out there, it gives you some kind of vim. Because out of out of about 30 players and you are part of the first we'll 11 of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, first yeah, time yeah, Iraq, uh, Nations, dressing room. Yes. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, I mean. so, yes, they are coming out from their clubhouse. And yeah, it, it looks good. Yeah. But I think that they are demeanor. Well, maybe they are concentrating. But um, this is this is what we want to see. That is what we want to see. And, and let's see what what they have for House of Folk and House of Folk. That is Evans or Seus with the chap laughing. I mean, what is the he's informed. <laughs> and Aja can be there. Yes, there he yes, is. the man. <laughs> also smiling, very confident. Uh, but there's I, no I, doubt about yes. it. This is a game that yeah. Samatex would want to 
do something. Uh, and that is the golfer for Samates. There you go. Nurudu, Amadu. He's he's probably one of the underrated coach uh, technical people in the Ghana Premier League. No, yeah, you see, unless you don't know him, he's been a long serving coach for while wow, stars under coach, coach uh, 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 former FA president Kosinian Techi. And his coach King Faisa. He's done so many things. He's been with the national team a couple of times. He's got an he's got experience in Ghana football. So for him doing what he's doing at Samate, I'm not surprised. This is as a folk dressing room. We talk of Cisse, Kasim, that is Isa Kuka, Gideon Asante, and then Leventos Arta. Wonderful dressing room. And I'm sure these boys, by the time they get out of the <laughs> phobia bed and How enter the How many hours from Accra to uh, Summer Boy? It's quite a journey, yeah? It's about eight hours or so. Yeah. Seven, eight, eight hours. This young so. man is back? Yes. This Amon Kwabe, if you get him down, it's the a traveling contingent always. I yes, mean, and yes, their fans as well. Yes. Great Utanga, Utanga, Utanga. Utanga. yes, Glenda and Tange, yes. Shura Seju, and then the captain for the side, Kofi Agbesima. It's the, yes, Richard Atta, the number one goalkeeper, and of course, Aponsa also getting now. Yeah, yeah, these are this CC, Kasim, Leventos, Atta, you know, from a little bit of the match. And then, yeah. yeah, so for me, I think that. They are, they are full of, that is Salif Ibrahim, Di Maria. One player as the supporters loved so much when he's with the ball. And, and I think that this is Gideon Asante. And then the Esu Bontin also there. Ose Bonsu, the goalkeeper, formerly of uh, Brooklyn Chelsea. And he Wafa. came on as a sub uh, in yeah. their game, you know, and he did very well. So uh, Richard Atta has got a good backup. Yeah, you see, history will tell you that as the folk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko do not have goalkeeping problem. But it's a matter of choice from the handlers. So when you are a number one goalkeeper for House of Folk or Kotoko, you need to be very, very uh, um, Okay, so uh, there's enough time to hear from the coaches. So let's um, quickly get pitch side and hear from them now. Thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Thank As you. a top liner here this afternoon, you are playing against Accra Hearts of Oak. You are coming into this game after picking up a point away from home. What's the strategy going into this home liner? Uh, like we rightly said, it's a big game. And then uh, I think that after picking a point away, it has motivated us a lot. And so we are going to strategize and then play our best because we are playing at home and they will try to win the game. Okay. There seems to be some amount of pressure coming from underneath you. Clubs that are positioned second, third and fourth are also trying to gear up and grow in momentum as they catch up to you. Does this put any kind of pressure on Samatex? Definitely. There's pressure because as they are coming up, most of the teams have stepped up their games and then so they are catching up. So we also need to sustain the performance and then maintain our momentum so that we can go higher. Do you have a squad to do just that? Maintain the momentum and then keep pushing? Uh, as a young club, we don't have a very round all round team, but we we'll manage the situation. Yeah. Last year, the visitors came here and they went away without a point. Mm. What do you anticipate in today's game? I uh, will see what happens. We will see what happens. Coach, we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Assistant Coach, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Now, past performance, since you had Abubakar on board, has indicated that Accra Hearts of Folks seem to have lifted up their game. Not only that, you also have the fans ably supporting you fully. What's the strategy going into this afternoon's game after picking a win? in your last match against Heart of Lions. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, like you said, we have to maintain the ambition and the mentality. And also, we have to, uh, how do you call it? We have to try as much as possible to play according to what the coaches said, like they do, you know? And now, as of all, everybody starts to focus playing well. Why? Because we, it's consistency. You know, that's the consistency. So we are maintaining it, and I think we know exactly the team that we are going to play this afternoon. We know them, and we have watched them. We know their strengths and weakness as well. So that's exactly what we are going to work on. In the first round, they came visiting you in Accra, and they came back with a point. The match ended goalless. What will be the change 
in this afternoon's encounter? Yeah, like they came to our home to pick a point. We are here also to pick a point here. Uh, yeah. Your team seems to have almost all the players in play. Do we have anything to worry about in terms of injuries? And will that change the tactics? No, at this moment, no. Because we are, it's only Amza and we have him on board. You know, so I think we are going all out. We are going all out. And we are going for a positive result. Okay. I see some of your fans have traveled from far and near. They are here to give you the support. Is that motivation enough? Yeah, of course, yes. You know, as folk, without support, as no as of folk. You know, that's why we need them badly. You know, and we are here to see them with their numbers. And I think with them, they'll be the number 12 for us. We wish you the very best. Thank you. TJ, they call him Abdul Rahim Bashiru, assistant coach. Uh, coach Watara perhaps waiting to speak after the game. It's a big, big game. No doubt about it. Summer Tech's gaining, looking to win the Ghana Premier League for the first time. Nations looking to win the Ghana Premier League for the first time. Hearts of Oak wanting to get back and do that. So it's, it's really fascinating. But coach, Utsia, we have confidence, all right. But at least Summer Tech's coach, I said there's pressure. There's pressure. He said it. Of course. I mean, if he, 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 of course, there's pressure everywhere. I mean, losing that two straight games and for, for nations to, to, to be able to come and put pressure what on them. Know? That is Ed Monaka. You know, he celebrated his, his 50th birthday last week when he had a point from the Dreams game. And yeah, I think that we're going to see a very good game. But I think that both coaches have spoken. So, so but need, I uh, foresee... Yeah. Uh, the, the, the summer test coach is just one of the ordinary boys a part of the team. He's very, very understated. No, but yeah, this is this is this is life on TV, and there are certain things that we need to talk about. It's, a, yeah, I'm, it's I'm business. Sure after the game, you, you discuss that. The but fortress. I, I foresee goals in this first 45 minutes. No doubt about yeah. it. Now, atmosphere, no cry. You can see, sir, there's there's tension. It's palpable, coach. It's hustle folk that you're talking about. The two te big teams in Ghana, Kotoko hustle folk. When this is anywhere hustle folk goes, the fans are there. You feel the pressure. You feel the heat. Because as a folk has not lost a game in their last five games. Nana, uh, Summer takes to me share hearts. Uh, it will be a statement of their readiness to try and annex the Ghana Premier League for the first time. And also the other teams would want to give it a shot. I think both of them will be able to pick it a maximum win. A big statement to everybody that you know they are ready to win the Premier League. That is why my prediction for today is a full-time draw involving Summer Test and Hasso Folk. It's a big game uh, for Samra Boy and I better see the strength of this House of Folk team and I better see the strength of this Summer Test team. So, big game coming up today at the Nine Century Park in Summer Test. Yeah, we're, we're almost ready. Uh, when we get the signal, we'll be joining uh, Prince Anna in commentary position. Big, big game. Uh, three points at stake. But beyond three points, psychologically, whoever gets this win will send a signal to the rest of the Ghana Premier League. It's a great atmosphere. The fans always come out in their numbers. You know, uh, it's one of the venues that can match any other fortress in Ghana. Remember BBN Gold Stars, once upon a time, uh, their venue was a fortress, the, the, the Lion's Den. But let's find out. First half, 45 minutes coming up. Prince Anand is our commentator. The Century Sports Arena here in Samra Boy. Where this afternoon it is Samatex Football Club. Please pardon the uh, logo for Samatex. It's not Karela, but they're taking on Accra Hearts of Oak. Match day 23 of the Ghana Premier League, and this is promising to be very exciting by virtue of the fact that it's going to be the giant, the Timber Giants Samatex Football Club taking on the Continental Club Masters Accra Hearts of Oak. This afternoon here at the Encentre Sport. Charles will be leading the team on in just a couple of seconds, but we're going to have the league leader, Samatex, playing at home in their traditional green and black colors. Stadium is all green and black this afternoon. The Phobians will come in in their traditional colors. And we humbly wait for the officials to join us on the field of play. Hostilities will be beginning in a couple of minutes. In the first round, Samatex played as guests to Accra Hearts of Oak at the Accra Stadium. And this afternoon's weather 
promises to be very, very ideal for association football. There's a mild wind blowing. It is not too hot. And we definitely will have nothing but the best of association football. My name is Princeton, and once again, welcoming you to the Century Sports Arena as league leaders, FC Samatex, 1996, ably led by their captain, Emmanuel Edusiao, leading the entourage onto the field of play. And it will be Accra Hearts of Oak this afternoon sporting the all-white colors. Don't need to tell you that these are the fans, the giant army of uh, FC Summertex 1996, almost always here, ever present. And it's going to be a full house in terms of the two sides. No injury worries. Aqua Hearts of Hope, welcome back. The Mercurial Hamza. And it will be interesting to see how Hamza pairs with uh, Sisi up front, Kasim Sisi, that is. Promises to be exciting. It's quite a full house here 